In North America, we share vital natural resources, including air, oceans and rivers, grasslands, deserts, mountains and forests. Together, these resources are the basis of a rich network of ecosystems. The Commission for Environmental Cooperation, CEC, brings together citizens and experts, entrepreneurs and researchers from Canada, Mexico and the United States to protect these valuable resources while supporting sustainable economic development. How is our trilateral work making a difference? Measuring and mitigating food loss and waste. In North America, approximately 168 million tons of food loss and waste are generated annually enough to feed 260 million people. Food loss and waste also has massive environmental, social and economic impacts. A suite of tools developed by the CEC is helping food producers, processors, distributors and retailers prevent and reduce food loss and waste across the food supply chain while saving money. Nos interesamos en el tema de pérdida y desperdicio de alimentos cuando nos dimos cuenta que nuestras operaciones, siendo un restaurante con más de 200 puntos de venta en todo el país, que podíamos contribuir de manera importante a reducir tanto la forma de pérdida como la parte de desperdicio de alimentos y que nos hayan invitado a participar a, con la Agencia de Cooperación Ambiental de Norteamérica en este gran grupo de trabajo con, con, con líderes de los tres países, eh, básicamente fue entender lo que, lo que implicaba. Nos abrieron los ojos en muchos sentidos y ahora pues, nos queda el gran reto de implementarlo y hacer que suceda para el bien no solo económico de la empresa, sino de las personas y del planeta. What's more, the CEC's new Food Matters Action Kit is empowering youth and their families to help prevent food waste at home, in their schools and in their communities. Building Community Solutions to Marine Litter In 2010, over 380,000 tons of plastic waste from Canada, Mexico and the United States ended up in the world's oceans. Plastic waste in water damages ecosystems and kills marine life, threatening our food supply, tourism, the fishing industry, and our economies. With support from the CEC, communities in two watersheds along the U.S.-Canada and U.S.-Mexico border, the Tijuana River watershed and the Salish Sea, are taking action using a common community-based approach. As part of the CEC initiative to tackle land-based marine litter, we are facilitating a study on um, litter in storm drains on two sides of the border. The CEC is a key element in, in coordinating the efforts of these countries because it's the only organization that's working in this space with three nations. These communities are applying low-cost and low-technology solutions to marine litter, like hosting educational events and installing storm drain catchment devices. They have also described the local marine litter problem and are spreading the word to support future marine litter reduction initiatives in their region. Monarch butterfly and pollinator conservation. Pollinators are crucial to the continental food supply and important to ecosystem health in North America. However, in the past decade, there has been a dramatic decline in their populations. Through the CEC, an international network of researchers, experts and community scientists continues to expand and promote conservation actions for the monarch butterfly and its habitat and stop population declines across its spectacular migration paths through Canada, Mexico and the United States. The three countries have to work together because the monarch spends time in each country and um, in order to complete its cycle it has to be protected in each area and the collaborations are happening across all three countries. So different expertise exists in each of the three places and working together we're able to solve um, so many more questions. 
um, collecting data together and across borders. Every simple action counts, and conservation actions by the three countries are making a difference. In 2019, Mexico recorded a 144% increase in forest area covered by overwintering monarchs, marking an overall upward trend over the last five years. Monitoring health impacts from extreme heat events. Every year in North America, extreme heat events result in thousands of illnesses, hospitalizations and deaths. Responding to heat events in real time is key to preventing these negative health outcomes. The CEC has partnered with several regional health agencies across North America to help improve monitoring of health impacts during extreme heat events. This partnership has resulted in new tools to identify vulnerable populations, as well as promote prevention and effective treatment of heat-related illnesses. In 2018, the state of Sonora reported a 51% decline in heat-related illnesses between 2017 and 2018, achieved thanks to preventative actions carried out using its syndromic surveillance system, developed with CEC support. Sustainable Development in Purepecha Indigenous Communities the North American Partnership for Environmental Community Action is a CEC grant program that empowers communities to improve environmental conditions at the local level. In Pátzcuaro, Michoacán, Mexico, the Pure Pecha indigenous communities settled at Lake Pátzcuaro have long depended on its waters for resources and well-being. However, in recent years, pollution and the loss of a key resource, the Silverside Pike, have led to social marginalization and the loss of indigenous identity. A CEC grant supported training workshops and actions to support conservation of the wetland and the Silverside Pike. This in turn has cultivated social organization, reinforced indigenous identity and established economic self-sufficiency. These are just a few examples of how CEC work has achieved tangible results to foster conservation, protection, and enhancement of the North American environment. Our projects are made possible thanks to the Government of Canada, the Government of the United States of Mexico, and the Government of the United States of America.